Greetings and salutations. Good evening, everyone. I hope everybody's doing fantastic on this Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Kind of get mixed up when you're working all the time. Trying to figure out what's going on. Kenny had to go potty. And we'll be down. There goes the flush. So he'll be down in just a second. Hope everyone is great. Let me know you're here. And I see five people already. Don't know who they are. I know some people just pop in and don't say anything. Say hi. Everybody's just... Say hi that you're here, and then we know that you're here. Hello, Bindi. First one on the board. Fantastico from YouTube. Now we need a Facebook to know that it's working. We'll just sit and wait. Patience, hey, hey. Hope everybody's doing good. Patty Myers, Aloha, Janet, and Angela. Hello, Rachel. Oh, there's our first Facebook. Wendy from Trenton, Ontario. No water, no we... tools. Hi, Beth. I know I haven't gotten that. Did we go through Trenton? Or did we go through? No. Oh. We did go to Ontario. Sonia M. Nancy B. Oh, Nancy Milan. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, hi, Crazy hi. Cat. Hello. Hey, George. All right. Sean's going to go get some water. Yep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm so excited for today's project. Um, all right. Welcome to our live. We're live on YouTube and Facebook. And today was a big day because today was the new Summer Operations release. And I am so excited for this release, you guys. The, some of the transfers, I've been designing SVGs all day, so I've been really playing with the transfers and so many ideas, so much inspiration. I just cannot wait for you to get your hands on it. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I get it. If you're new to Chalk Couture, I get it. Take a look at our links. All of our links can be found on our links.co page. And the links.co page um, will have basically everything you need. Um, but at the very top, it will say everything discussed in today's live. I so when you, you actually that. click that, thank you, Sean. When you actually click the links.co, um, go ahead and refresh that. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to take you to this landing page. So you have the links from today's live and then everything down below. So shop our products. Become a designer, club couture, um, all my YouTube videos, catalogs and lookbooks, our recipe guides, our product guides, our Etsy store, our VIP chalk group on Facebook, and my uh, sister channel. But let's go to links from today's live. So right there is the new product release. Everything you need to know, all of the new products. If we scroll down, everything we're using in today's um, project, we have our chalk couture supplies. We're going to be using Dixie Bell brushes and the Cricut Strong Mat. A little bit down from that, we have our, of course, freeze-dried candy, which we'll talk about in a second. All of our digital files that are available and our um, cutouts for the fresh organic. I do want to let you know that we have the Duchess still going on. We'll talk about in a second. 50% off for Mother's Day and 50 per, uh, some great deals on those chalk boxes. So all of the links are down below. You can see all of that by um, clicking on my link and uh, taking a peek. Like oh, I switch Yeah, yeah. Sorry, click sorry, sorry. out of there. <laughs> click out. All right. So let's chat really quick. If you are new to Chalk Couture and want to know how to experience it, you can experience it, of course, by shopping on our website. But why pay full price when you can save money? You can save money by being a Club Couture member or joining as a designer. Club Couture member gets you an exclusive B-size transfer and three pay singles this month. Um, it is our Farm Fresh Organic and Premium Gasoline. So if you were to join this month, you're going to get the Farm Fresh Organic. Next month is Premium Gasoline. This, Both these transfers, I've seen so much projects, so much inspiration. People love them. Now, it is a great way to experience it, but of course, you can experience Chalk Couture as a designer by joining our Chalk Couture team. This is with the April... Uh, starter kit. It's called the April or Spring Perks Pack. It's $99 and you get $301 of product. Now, this is a great way to start your designership because you are going to get everything you need, um, including surfaces, paste, tools, apron, the whole kit and caboodle. But if you'd rather join without a starter kit, we do have a designer access for just $9.99. That gets you immediate access. So if you are looking at the brand new hot, hot, hot products of the summer brations, and you know you want to save that 40% off, you can join our team right now, get 40% off, and start shopping right 
away. Um, as for promotions this month, don't forget we still have Duchess. So Duchess is our color of the month. You can see it right here on your screen or in person here. Duchess is a beautiful blue color with some shimmer in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of Frozen or Cinderella. We have an example here with a butterfly on black and white. And here is the paste for you. It's got a very gentle shimmer to it. You can see it obviously in person. And then when you kind of see it here, you'll see the little shimmer flakes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very cool color. This will, I anticipate, sell out soon. So if you want it, um, if you uh, place a qualifying order on our website, you can get up to three of those. Don't forget, we do have a lot of product that is half off right now in honor of Mother's Day until April 16th. So you have a few more days for that. And our chalk boxes are still available. We have the birds and the bees and the vintage farm. So if you have questions through the rest of tonight, We have a good one, actually. Real live. quick. Okay. Debbie Cooper says, does the links have two eyes? Yes, it does. I, it two does. Eyes. Whoops, I put that up Two too eyes. Yes, it is two eyes. Somebody, links.co must have been taken, so they probably added Yes, that. yes. All right, we. I am super excited for tonight's project. So for many of you, you know that we live in the Pacific Northwest, yes. specifically Spokane, and a big mythical thing that lives in our mountains is very... Prominent. Prominent. There was actually a documentary called mm -hmm. Harry and the Hendersons. Yep. And this documentary showed how a family lived with a Bigfoot. Yes. And so the documentary shows it's real. It's real. Because Harry and Hendersons was real. So that is what tonight's project. I found this file that I love. Let me show it to you. So it is a Bigfoot file we are going to be using. Now, I went back and forth on cutting this. Now this is a pretty tall guy. He's 10 and a half and I don't know, it's six layers. So if this is something you guys would like to see in our Etsy store as a cutout, let me know and let me know the height because this guy, because he is 10 and a half, took three sheets of wood and about 45 minutes to cut, which we can do. It just will reflect in the price or I can make this word shorter, um, a different height for you. I'm going to be using it in front of our uh, drop-in box frame, which is this guy here, and he's going to come right about here. So I wanted him a little taller. Now I can make this for you the exact same size. The price will just reflect it just because it is, it, it, it takes a little bit of time to do it. Yeah. And this was cut on thin material. This is what they call, um, one eighth inch versus the, almost everything else is on quarter inch. So it's half the uh, thickness. So if this was done on the thick stuff, this thing would be very tall <laughs> mm -hmm. and heavy. Mm -hmm. So the thin make works perfect. All right. I love that, says Patience. So we are going to start with the base layer. Now, I don't really need to paint the entire thing because obviously we are only going to see through this little window here. So we're just going to do the top. And I'm actually starting with papaya. A little bit of the um, head and top of the shoulders. Yes. Ooh, head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. And um, we're going to do a pretty good layer. Now, this is untreated wood, so this will absorb our chalk paste pretty well. So we might have to do a few. Oh, can you <laughs> take off my protective oh. sheet? That might help. And I'm, as you can see, I'm not watering down my paste at all because I kind of want it very dramatic since we are doing these... Um, you have a second to grab in here. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So, just going to leave this out with the paintbrush so I don't have to keep dirtying up paintbrushes. So, first layer, super easy. This is our next layer. And we're only going to really see... Uh, let's go to the next layer. Hello, Heidi. So, the next layer is going to be right about... Shoulders about right there in this mm, color. I wonder if this is Mount Rainier. Oh, it could be. It's a little pointy. Could be Mount. Let's see which one's really pointy. Mount Hood? No. One of them is actually pointy. A little more pointier than Excuse that one. Excuse me. Oh, it's already up. Tina says she loves your apron. Isn't that cool? Isn't it a fun apron? It's fun. Okay, so the color I'm using on this layer is Colonial Blue. One of my faves. Yes. And once again, this is um, not watered down paste. I'm going directly onto the drop board with this. 
we'll dry it we'll probably do a second coat um and the reason why is i really want hello casey you could almost do little white tops on those oh i could we'll see what it looks like that would be kind of fun i was just thinking if those are mountains which they are the little snow caps because pretty much they're always snow capped Ooh, we have no music i was gonna say it's awfully quiet in here we'll fix that he doesn't like the quiet quiet is kind of boring See. All right, so my next layer, I'm going with a lighter blue. So we're going to do There we go. We're actually going to use one of our new in bow colors. So we're going to use a nice eggshell blue. So we want to go down. I might not have went down far enough on that guy. No, I did. It's him, so I want to go down to here with him. George is wherever George is, it was 72 today. Nice. That's San Diego weather. It's a pretty color. Gotta love that eggshell. Uh oh, I might need to clean my mat. I'm starting to contaminate. layer that's the good side okay so it, okay so is this guy and he's gonna go all the way down to his knees and I want to do him I think in because I want him to be oh I'm gonna do this in a nice this color because then I want the Bigfoot to be in brown I sometimes have a plan. Got my order in today from the new release. Can't wait to get it, says Heidi. I know. I cannot wait. It is a very cool release. Um, I think the only thing that sold out was a chocolate shape, the s'mores one. Was oh, that quick? And that was even math. <laughs> that was even with the limit of two because they limited us to being only to able to order two of those um, per order. So I'm sure some people, you know, did multiple orders. But um, other than that, the because the last time the chocolate shapes came out, they also sold out. So I think by limiting quantities, at least more people got their hands on it. Because remember, we missed out on yes. Okay, so the next one is going to be, we're going to do bark. You want to plug yourself? There it goes. He is going to be, same thing, down to about the knees.
Kendra asks, once a chuckable shadow sells out, I'm assuming chuckable chip. Um, whoops, sorry, Heidi, you popped in there at the same time as I popped that in there. Um, once a chuckable chip sells out, are you allowed to cut them on the Glowforge? As soon as they go from <clears throat> being on the available product list to the retired product list. As soon as I see them on a retired product list, meaning the product is no longer available, then we're able to cut and sell. Technically, you can cut all day long for yourself. Yeah. Um, but if you want to sell the chalkable chip on like a website or something, you have to wait till it's on that retired list. Casey asks, what transfer was your favorite, not including the birdhouse? Um, ooh, jeez. I really like the campout themed one. So the um, s'mores one. I really liked. Um, man, that's a hard one because there were some really good ones in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really liked the 4th of July Independence Day themes. I think That's they nice. did a really yeah, good job nice. on those this year. Um, and then uh, probably my favorite, and Sean can tell you why, is the um, Etched Peony. Etched Peony, yes. You do that because it was your mom's favorite um, flower. She had a whole bunch of them out in the front. And back. Yeah. And a whole bunch. Hi, Peg. Okay. So we're going to let all of those dry. And then I'm going to go wash this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. We'll even watch you do it. The nice thing about these things, they wash so easy. Just if you got a scrubby, it works great. Um, if you notice that white spot down there on the bottom, that was used something a little too rough and actually scrub the sticky stuff right off. So you got to be kind of careful on what you use to scrub your mats with. Nyla, hello. Rachel, hello. What's the best product to use to seal the paste on surfaces? Rachel, good question. Um, depending on what you're going to do, if you're making something that's going to be outside, you'd probably want to use a really good um, spray type topping i think i might even have one like a, a clear coat they work really well um shellac works well uh, mod podge works well so i've been um if you're using something that's going to be used like on a cutting board and you want to use the cutting board, um, highly recommend using, oops, the wrong one. Highly recommend using this one, the shellac. You can get this at uh, uh, Lowe's and at uh, Home Depot. Uh, this one is food safe. Um, I would put at least a couple coats on it. So this is for food. Uh, the other one I use is something like this. Uh, this one, of course, is Rust-Oleum. Uh, the other brands, they're all the same. This one's the matte, so there's going to be no shine. I kind of like the satin lately, so these two work really well. Uh, George is asking, will this cutout be on the website? If you guys want to, he is thinking of doing it. Yes, right? Yes, but I need to know what size. Like, how they, tall do you want? If they wanted this size... Um, Oops, sorry. it takes, uh, three sheets and 45 minutes to cut. Yeah, so it takes a while. So, like you said, three sheets, 45 minutes to do all of those. So that makes the price go up a little bit. But if you want it... If you want it smaller, this is, he said, what, 10 inches? This is about 10 and a half. So about 10 and a half inches. If you're looking for like half that or maybe a third of that, um, we can get more on a sheet. Um, I think time-wise it's going to be about the same, maybe. What do you need? Um, just something to put this on so it doesn't get dirty. Because I'm, I'm probably going to use it again. So yep. don't... Let me see if I can find I'll just put, use this real quick. 
So I'm using, um, and Sean can show you this, but this is Dixie Bell's do, uh, Voodoo uh, this is Gel. A voodoo Gel Stain Water. And so you just want to dry it in between each layer. So I have a little bit of areas that I still... Uh, water-based, so there's no smell like most uh, oil type stains, so that's really cool. Easy cleanup, just water and, water and soap. Uh, covers really nice. Um, you can, um, as you're going to see, that you can blend them in with different colors. It's very, very cool. Good stuff. I think Heidi, I believe Heidi said she's used these before. Get me another piece of parchment. Parchment. Yes, I love Dixie Bell. Yeah, we so do we. Great stuff. So the idea is we want to create wood look. So that's why I'm kind of drying it in between each layer and then adding um, The next layer kind of in a stripe pattern. So far the colors he used is called Tobacco Road with the brown and then Up in Smoke is the gray and this one is the white which is called White Magic and he may be using black and it's called Black Magic. So then I'm just taking, while the white's just a little wet, I'm gonna take it where it's a little too thick and just use my white wet wipe here. There we go. Jeannie Frank says, this is going to turn out so awesome. Ken, it's so wonderful to see you in action with your creativity again. Thank you. And then Laura Stewart says, have you ever tried unicorn spit? We have we, some. We have a whole buttload of them over there somewhere, including the metallics. Yes, we use them once in a while. Um, we've met the, the owner and actually got to paint with her and stuff. Very cool. Their paint is very, very uh, eco-friendly. Can you give me a new parchment? Yes, new parchment. This time we want to end with the brown. We're not going to do any black and white because we already have enough. So I'm going to start with the gray. Now this time I'm going to be using this and Sean can kind of explain. It's hard to tell what it is, but. So believe it or not, this thing is a very cheap brand uh, paintbrush that I cut the, the, long, the bristles down to, so it was maybe about inch-ish or so and uses it to kind of dab and 
daub and stuff to kind of give you a chance to do some texturing if wanting. So you can, like he uses the word pounce, pounce, I use pounce. And like you can see this effect, that's what this can do. So I have a newer one somewhere. Now he's using the Tim Holtz's uh, splatter bush. Surely you're saying, what is that? What exactly are you talking about? Are you talking about unicorn spit? Or are you talking about what he is working on? Please let me know. Love to tell you. You know, it's funny. I keep telling, keeping it in manual, but it still wants to change. I think that um, the wood, wood grain wouldn't work. Got the new one. Yeah, what it, what it does is that it makes it very... Bye. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, hi Pat. Um, Shirley. I'll zoom in real quick. This is unicorn spit. They come in all kinds of different colors, metallics, different styles. Very eco-friendly. You can actually wash this down your drain and not have to worry about ruining the water system or anything, which is really cool. It's a gel stain and glaze. They also make some other ones. There's another one that they use as well. They have all kinds of stuff. Wonderful product called Unicorns. But I don't know exactly where you find it, but on the website? Yeah, there are different places. I mean, I've seen it at stores. Yeah. Evelyn, hello. Hello, Alma from San Antonio. We've been there once, twice, once, once. So this is, is this found natures and pattern or is this? It says right there. For something. For something? I'm going to have to look just a sec. Four farmhouse patterns. There you go. All right, I'm going to clean the transfer. Can I'll you dry, dry that? Thank, Thank you. Can. You betcha. Here we go, drying.
me zoom in a little bit so maybe you can kind of see the effect that he just did. So the transfer he was using was creating these lines here. Hey, my hands are wet. Yeah. Can you, oh wait, can you open that? Let me mm -hmm. go get a towel. You want that? The liney one. Liney one. Thanks. Found patterns from nature. Found patterns from nature is this one. Not sure exactly what that is, but I think it's bamboo. Yeah, I love our new transfers. I think that's bamboo. So cool. So much easier to see your design. Mm-hmm. And as you can tell, this stuff goes works just as well as our paste. Michelle doing voodoo gel stain from Dixie Bell. It's a water base, no smell, works great. Love this, it looks worn wood or bark, says Heidi. Very cool, Kenny. Thanks. I finally found on how to get the uh, lower thirds to disappear in seven seconds. Oh, you did? <laughs> finally found it. <laughs> And then the nice thing about this voodoo gel stain, it dries very quickly. I've been binding manuals up with a new multi cinch tonight. You guys are an awesome break. Awesome welcome break. Okay, so let's see if we need to paint these some more. Okay, so it goes this one. This one. Oops. All right, you can more. tell a little more orange. A little more orange. Orange. 
That one needs to be fixed a bit. It's a little bit there. Okay. And then this one should. Okay. So this one's good. This one needs to be fixed. This one needs to be fixed. Okay. Not too bad. Not too snabby. So would you guys want the Bigfoot cutouts? If so, I mean, I know we're waiting kind of for the project to be, but if so, what? What size? Size, would you want them? Have I finished the railing on the stairs? Uh, no. I made a big mistake, so I had to reorder some of the uh, aircraft cable, and it came in earlier than we expected. It was supposed to be here like tomorrow, but it got we got it like two days ago. It almost looks like it was shipped from here because the return address is Spokane. Mm. So one of Ken's uh, very good friends, her husband's a contractor, and he's worked on these before, and he's going to help me out um tomorrow after in the early evening Do you want to put all the lights back on mm -hmm. Thanks. give me a hand on getting that all together and then after it's done it should be done all right so while that oh actually leave them open i just now lied but we might need to water them down they're kind of thick are they thick or is it just me i don't know but i do need to clean their edges and lid edges though Okay, so I'm going to grab our drop-in box frame. If you don't know what that is, Sean, what's our drop-in box frame? The drop-in box frame, cool idea. You get these three double-sided, whoops, going on with my camera. Double-sided, uh, kind of a cardboard core. Mm -hmm. And these, it has a slit on the top, and you can put all three of them in at once, and you can sit there and change them out however you'd like. It's a, basically a size A in there and it's very very cool so you can see them on both sides so you can either have it displayed one way or in a room with both sides either way you want
still gonna hit it. That's okay. What if you did the cutouts maybe offer a small, medium, and a large? Says Heidi. I could do that. I would have to figure, figure it out tomorrow. Oh no. Finishes. That could have spelled disaster. Disaster. All right, so we're gonna do all of our colors. Don't just stand there. Oh, I got it down here too. Must be on my fingers. All right, so we're gonna do all four colors. Whoa. There was still stuck in there. So I think I'm gonna do it. Cause I had orange, dark blue, this blue. So I'm gonna do it just like that. Ombreish, kind of. Where's what's her face? That always asks, "Can you do an ombre?" And you are about to do one. Who's <laughs> that? She's not here. Um, she, yeah, something Carlson. Starts with an S. She was a, Troy says she was a Special Olympics gold medalist. <clears throat> forget, forget exactly what. Oh, I forgot to, dang it. <laughs> Did I have it on there? Yes, that's stupid. It's even had a, uh, I even made a mention to myself. This has the tagline, slug line, don't forget Kenny. And I forgot. <laughs> Heidi says, I had a non-crafty friend over yesterday and introduced her to chalk and she was so tickled that she made something herself. It was a chocolate chip, but she was so proud and took it home. Very cool, yeah. That's the way to do it. All right, now you are good to clean. Okay. I'm gonna go clean my transfer, and then we dry that. Yeah, I gotta get this one out of here since it fell. Oh, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. Clean my fingers before I pick up that thing. All right, let's get this thing.
that should do it. Hopefully. We need to order, or unless you have another one, camel or dune. I mean, did you dry this? Yes, I did. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Looks great, says Casey. Guess what that is? I know, I know, I know. What do you want to do with it? Oh, you can eat it if you want. Listen. That is a green apple Jolly Rancher. has been freeze dried. Although it's crunchy in the beginning and then it kind of sticks your teeth after that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's so intense, so good. Oh, there. Oh, you were half inch one. Mm -hmm. With super strong adhesive, so we'll see how it does. Hopefully well. I say it will do well. Yes, you could do this on your 12 by 12 uh, sheets if you wanted. Wouldn't be as thick, but it could be done that way. Absolutely. All right, the next level would be my truck or eggshell blue. stuff is super strong but if it doesn't get applied just right it wants to curl up on me oh well, gosh darn it yeah watermelon green apple are my fave yes mine too yes Sonya at this is a Jolly Rancher. This is what happens to it once you, and just the standard Jolly Rancher, little rectangular one. Stick it in the uh, freeze dryer, swells up, becomes crunchy. It'll still stick to your teeth, but who cares? It's a great way to enjoy a Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. mm. Those will be coming. They're not, we wanted to see how good they are. Grape, absolutely not. We will be making grape, but yes, but not Sean just doesn't like I grape. do not like grape. Oh. So he feels like the rest of the world should give up on grape. Give it up. It's nasty grass. 
Have to green do apple and green pears? Few touch ups, but that's okay. I know people who cut them in thirds and freeze dry them. Yep. People do that too. They're not very big. I mean, they become big. The thing is, though, on um, the Jolly Ranchers, uh, when I was unwrapping them, a lot of them just break in half because they're. We bought them in like the main big pack. Yeah. Ooh, peach is very good too, Sonia. Very good. I'm starting to feel like the world is addicted to candy because every time we go to Walmart, they're like out of everything. It's like, where's this? Out. Where's this? Out. It's like, damn. People like them candy. Yes. Heidi asks, do you think adding uh, fun foam between the chalk paper would help give it dimension or do you think it would just wrinkle the paper? I don't think, it, I don't think it'll wrinkle it because it's pretty thick material. Yeah, it's, I think it would be fine. Yeah, I think it'd be fine with, give it some height as you go. And this is only just an eighth inch cut. It does come with the stand. I'm attaching it to the frame, so I'm not using that. But if you wanted the stand, you could. Cindy Lou says, I can help you with the Hershey candies. Did she work at Hershey? Yes, we need Hershey candies. They have a lot of stuff that we can freeze dry. Well, there you go, Cindy. It's so hard to find something in like mega bulk. That's just unfortunate. We, um... I don't know what, what the other... Oh, let me go get I don't, know, I, I don't know what right the back. other freeze dryer people, how they get their candies, if they get them in bulk or not, but... Bulk would be nice. Cheaper, get more of it at one time instead of just getting tens. Send me a list. Cindy, you're awesome. We would do that. This is my new obsession. This I'm addicted to already. I want to make more of it. It's so good. Sheets are still out of stock. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. These are M&M. I can get it from our company store. How cool, Cindy. Love it. These are M&M uh, caramel. And this is what the caramels. We tried the peanut butter. Yeah, not so much. They just cracked open and melted. I think peanut butter is just too fatty, too much fat in it for it to work. But these are very nice. Those are better than very nice. They are delicious. City Lou says she can get it from our company store. Cool. She says, make a list. You right. know it. All right. Last layer. Make sure you're dry. Aloha, Kieran. I thought you machine in Utah. Janine, not sure what you meant by that. Oh, bought. I think you meant bought. I bought your machine in Utah. That's where ours came from. Yep, since they make them in Utah. Harvest right. Yeah, I think they're the main manufacturer of freeze dryers. Yeah, they're like the big ones. There's a couple other machines. There's one coming out of Canada. It's called D Freeze or Deep Freeze. Sean wants. But they're not. They're not out yet. The next one will be the extra large. Is extra what large. Wants. It's huge. Because our for little. For a non commercial, it's huge. Yeah, our little machine is going almost 24 7. Yeah, we have a medium. And it does a lot. It's just. Oh, yeah, freezer. That's what I figured what you meant. Uh, Karen, we are doing a thing with, a, with the. This cutout, it is a six layered using our uh, laser cutter to create the six layers of this. Bigfoot, as you know. And of course, you used to live in the Pacific Northwest, but know this very well. And then we're using the Chocotour, what do you call this again? Uh, uh, Drop-in frame. Drop-in frame, which is we're using don't just stand there. 
Love butterscotch. I like a good butterscotch. I like the butterscotch syrup, which or the um, stuff you put on ice cream. That's good. Butterscotch dilly bars. Those are good. Mm -hmm. I would have to say the only thing I like cherry is the um, dilly bars. I like dilly bar butterscotch. I love or cherry. I love, I love a cherry. cherry dilly bar. Yeah. I like all the dilly bars. Anything cherry though, I just don't like it. He's not a big cherry person either. I made it home in time. Hello, Sean and Ken. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? So since this is going to be seen, because it's a drop-in box frame, and because we did all these different layers, I'm just going to hit the seam here. Oh, she says, I thought your freeze dryer is in Utah. No, it is not in Utah. It's in Idaho. It's in Idaho. <laughs> That's funny. Funny. Not in Utah. That would be a very long commute to make our candy. Yes. Idaho is what? 15 minutes? What's that? Yeah. Idaho is 15 minutes? Yeah, it's 15 minutes away. Oh my God, I love this. I have a good friend who actually saw Bigfoot. Her whole house is decorated in Big, Bigfoot stuff. When I was in junior high, which was back in the 70s, uh, we had a teacher. He was our science teacher, Mr. Watson. Called him Bigfoot Watson because he was tall. And he and another guy actually went out and hunted for Bigfoot. And I also, when I was a bus driver at Cheney, he too uh, was a Bigfoot hunter. Little Debbie's Cherry Cordials. I do like cherry cordials, but most anything cherry candy, eh, I don't care for it. Or grape, grape is just, ugh. Don't like grape jam. I like grape. I mean, I like grapes, I like red grapes, green grapes. Idaho is the best. Idaho is pretty cool. Idaho just doesn't have laws. They don't have any laws that make it a problem. Now, obviously, I'm just getting the areas that are going to be seen. I'm going to try this before I do this side. Idaho has some really nice lakes on their very northern parts of the state. Kieran, you're saying, what about freeze-dried Jolly Rancher apple, dried apple Jolly Ranchers? That's what this is. This is a Jolly Rancher apple. Have we tried licorice flavors yet? Uh, so Not, certain licorices won't work. Yeah, I think it's just... A lot of licorices. In fact, yeah. we've done a lot of research on different freeze-dried people online, and yeah. a lot of... It's weird where, like, I've been watching a lot where when they test stuff, they'll just be like, we won't... We don't know if this will work, the gummy in it. So it depends, I think, on how dense a gummy is, or... Mm -hmm. So certain gummies just will not work. Like, certain, like, fruit snacks won't work. Um... Gummy bears will work. It's just a long time. It'll take a long time. Six hours plus. Yeah. And then, um, so a lot of it is, it's just trial and error. Try it. Mm -hmm. And if it works, great. If not, we eat the candy as it's. Yep. There are some things. The Dollar Tree has a lot of boxed candy for trying out things. Yes, yes they do. Yes, they do. We tried doing, um, I think, Heidi, you mentioned this, I believe, um, the hot tamales didn't work in the normal candy mode. Um, I think it it got super soft because the things warm up. But I think that it needs to be in there much longer. All right. How do they turn out? They, they do turn out. They, as soon as you bite them, you know how you stick a Jolly Rancher and you kind of have that sock, 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 and then you have the flavor. This is like instantaneous flavor. It's so good. What about jelly beans? Would they freeze dry? Um, I think, well, the Nerd Cluster is, is kind of a jelly type material. An actual jelly bean, which of course my favorite is black licorice. I would love to see if a black licorice jelly bean works. Some other things that don't work, if the candy shell is like super hard or even thick, it, it just, they're too hard to have the vacuum crack them. 
All right, let me clean up my mess here. There's our Bigfoot, just chillaxing. Got the little black daubs there on the little guy in the background. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna put this board up. So we'll zoom in this little piece here. So it's, there we go. Focus, focus. Super lightweight. Okay, this is interesting. Crafting and candy, a perfect life. It is. Red jelly beans are so good in, in freeze drying. George says red jelly beans are very good in freeze dryer. Good to know. Good to know. Thanks, George. See, curing, you're right. The nerve clusters are good, but if you if they get really crumbly, just throw them on some ice cream. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is obviously attach this guy. He's Hot glue. gonna go. Yeah. Yes. So he's gonna go right here. We could go probably, I just don't want to cover the stand too much. What do you think of the Bigfoot guy? I think he's awesome looking. I mean, that I love is him. just phenomenal. I love him. Jennifer says, my mom loved je uh, black jelly beans. She would pick them all out for Easter time. I, I just, well, now you can just buy a bag of just black ones. I love it. Love this project. I know Jennifer, isn't it awesome? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna try to dry. And Try to dry this a little more. Now these are the ones I'm not a big fan of because they're sour, but... Okay, ready? Tell me how sour. I don't taste the sour. What? Oh man, how do you not taste that? You need to get your t oh. Well, there's some. I think they're. I think you had it more in the middle than you did on the ends. Yeah. That's sour. Oh, that oh. Was, that was good. Not good. Hmm. I just don't like sour. Go. Don't just stand there. Look alike, people. I think I have a sure high in here in a minute. Mm. Love, love, love this project. I think it needs to get it on an airplane. Mm -hmm. Maui. Oh, you know it, Karen. I'm just waiting for my hot glue to heat up. Now, the thing that it gave me was a fruit roll-up with the... Wow! Those Jolly Ranchers are intense. I told you. Woo! Crush candy. Like it. <laughs> I love sour. So do I. I like hot, too. When they made some of those candies with spice in it. Oh, so good. Tahoe or Chihimi or Chihimini. Hmm. I don't know the word. Tahoe. What are you talking about? Chamoy. The stuff that on TikTok they put on fruit gushers and stuff like that. I mean, tahin. Tahin. I have, we have tahin upstairs. No. It's spicy. It's a little. It's not really not that spicy, but you can get a spicy version, and it also has um, lime in it, so it's got a nice lime spice. I have you love sour. I'm a salt and sweet gal. Let this heat up just a few seconds more. Next time, make PJ. Peanut butter jelly? Peanut, Peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Love, love black jelly beans, I know. His dad loves it too. There's hardly anybody. There's very few people that love black jelly bean. It's the Kitty. black It's black licorice flavoring or Kitty. anise, which I do love. It's fuzzy. Peanut butter jelly, PB and J. Well, okay. I always say PB and J, but PJ, yeah. Next time I make PJ, peanut butter and jelly. Of course, best jelly in the world is Huckleberry. Homemade.
Can you get me a squeegee really quick? Squeegee coming up. Oh, we have more of that. Little little leakage. Yes, I've tried the hot tamale peeps and they're not hot at all. I didn't think so. Um, have you guys ever seen the cinnamon? It's, it's blocking the stand a little bit. Is that okay though? It's fine. I don't think it, I can move it. No, nope. probably not. Unless you pulled straight up from the back. Have you seen the the hot tamale or not? Do you think it matters or do you think? No, everybody knows what it says. Just be careful if you do it. But I think it's fine because you have glue all the way to the end, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're it's gonna, fine. It'll ruin this then. Um, the cinnamon toast crush fuego. It's a snack, but you could actually eat it as. Um, you want to do it up here? Yeah. Oops, I hit the wrong button. There you go. Should I redo this, like the... No. No, I think you can get it, right? Yeah, just don't stand there. I mean, yeah. Ooh, peach and peach strawberry. Very nice. Yeah, huckleberry is the is the bomb. Huckleberry pie, huckleberry muffins, huckleberry pancakes, huckleberry syrup, huckleberry jam. It's all good. Huckleberry candy, yeah. There was a restaurant in Centralia called Country Cousin. I've heard of that way back when. Are we frozen? No. No, I'm... Oh, you're not moving. <laughs> well, I... If I redo this, and I might, I won't do it now. I might actually take the transfer and split it and do don't just stand there. Don't bring it like... Yeah. Just bring it down a bit. I think that's what I'll do. But I'll do it on there. tomorrow okay. before I post Holy it. Holy cow, I did punch the wrong number. Whoa. And I did that one. There we go. Good thing all of our poor tours that she's... So I'll probably, if I redo this tonight or some, tomorrow, I might do the just stand, just, don't just, and then stand there a little yeah, down. Yeah, bring it down a bit. Yeah, because you, you have plenty of room. Mm -hmm. But other than that, here, yeah, I'll bring I it back it, up here. I yeah. think it looks great. Hello? I love it. Let me look at it in the beginning. I love the it. It looks so good. And from a distance, you get the, the just, don't oh, just stand there. Oh, of course. There. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's fun. That is awesome looking. Love the the what you used on the um, the the, uh, psh, the lines, the, the transfer. Well, yeah. that you used really turned really made it nice. Great job, Kitty. Yeah, I love it. All right, it'll go up on our Etsy store probably either tomorrow or on Monday, and it may or may not have a couple options in there for the just don't stand there because I kind of do want to adjust it down just a little. Yep. But it's super cute. And then I will think about uh, the different size of and the I say you can foots. just pull that right out and put the new one in. Correct. That's so this nice the, the... can just come right up and I can just redo it and turn it around. Yes. You have options. So yes. I like it though. Love it. All right. If we are live tomorrow, we will probably be a little early. We do have some people coming over tomorrow to help us with our railing, and my niece is coming over for dinner. So. Oh, she's coming over too. Yeah. Well, what a great thing. You guys can all work on candy stuff. Yeah. While I'm working on my thing. Send yeah. me a jar of it. Send you a jar of what? Mm -hmm. What do you need a jar of, George? If it's anything Huckleberry, don't worry. I'm, I don't pick Huckleberries. I used to back when I was a kid, but not anymore. Yeah.